Hello everybody, BFI King here, and today we're going to be taking a look over the last month of Battlefield. So in February, DICE has told us even more information about the new upcoming DLC called They Shall Not Pass, and we even got to test out three of the new maps and four of the new weapons of the Battlefield 1 CTE, which of now is only available to the PC. The DLC will bring four new maps, four new primary weapons, two new operations, a new game mode, vehicles, and some pretty baller melee weapons. Next month, the Battlefield 1 CTE will be coming over to Xbox One and PlayStation 4. So just a couple of days ago, DICE dropped a lot of new information about the four new DLCs we'll be seeing over the coming months. We're going to be seeing the French DLC this month, then a Russian DLC with confirmed snow maps, a DLC based on Gallipoli, and a DLC called Apocalypse. So I'm very looking forward to see what DICE will bring to us. And if you want more information about the new DLCs, I made a whole separate video about it yesterday, so the link is in the description if you want to check that out. This month we also got a winter update which fixed quite a lot of bugs and increased the class ranks to 50, and also brought in the much needed ribbons. Now this patch did bring in a lot of cool little things that made the game much more fun, and just added a little more depth which Battlefield 1 desperately needed, so hopefully each update will bring something that makes the game a little more worth playing. In smaller news, a new wave of battle pack revisions has started, where each week, every class will be getting its own revision. Currently, I think the battle packs need to be tweaked a little bit, because I think you should be able to buy battle packs or war bonds, as currently, war bonds are totally worthless. Hopefully, in March, we're going to be able to see even more new content for Battlefield 1, as it seems DICE have noticed that the community just wants a lot more from this game, as it was just such a big hype train, and the customization kind of let the game down. Now DICE does seem to be stepping up on this, but only time will tell what DICE brings to the table. But anyways guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next Battlefield video.